What it is, guys, it's Boy Blastmas HD. Foster Homes, oh boy. Now, I literally have so much stuff that's happened to me in like foster homes and stuff that I can't fit it all into one video. Now, in some of my stories, you guys might remember me talking about the fact that when I was growing up, my parents was on drugs, you know what I mean? And most of the time that my parents was on drugs, it wasn't really that big of a deal. The utilities were usually off and we never could have money in the house. So my parents was on drugs a lot of the time while I was growing up and at one point in time, uh, it was a, uh, it was a little, it was a little worse than rough. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna call the drug of choice that my guardian was on for a good amount of my childhood crank. I know it's crack, but I, I, I don't know. I just don't like saying that word. I, I just don't. It's something that I've kept private for most of the time, but it's kind of important for this story. So at one point in time, we were living in this apartment and it was me and my brothers, my sister, and we're all living in this apartment and we were used to our guardian being gone for like, uh, like, days at a time doing what they were doing just gone on a binge you know what i mean we would be left to like fend for ourselves it wasn't really that big of a deal i just remember us eating a lot of buttered toast at that time and ramen noodles like that's really all we had to eat so at one point in time we kind of ran out of food and this dude that my guardian knew would come over and give us just food. I remember one time he brought over a bunch of KFC chicken, just a bunch of food. Really, really nice dude. With that being said, I don't know who like snitched on us, but at some point someone found out that like we were like four kids who were really, 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 really young. Like my sister was like 13. She was the oldest of us at the time. She was the one cooking all the food and taking care of us and whatnot. Again, somebody decided to pull a Takashi 6 9 on us and snitched us out and told the police that we were basically four underage kids all living in this one apartment with no food. I distinctly remember the day that the police all came to get us and round us up and put us in this foster home. What's really funny is it's, it's kind of cool remembering all of these memories because it's been so long since I've legitimately thought about them. I remember when the police knocked on the door, literally like 10 officers came in there and they grabbed us up, you know, and our guardian came back. Police sirens everywhere. It looked like something out of a movie. It was all the way bad. And I just remember seeing her crying as they're taking us away into custody. Now, I remember exactly where they took us. I don't remember the name of the place, but like the place they took us, I, I don't think I ever had so much fun as a kid. Back then, instead of just taking you into a foster home straight up, they took us to this huge building where I guess they just kept all of the kids who were either orphaned or didn't have a place to stay. They just kept us all in this one huge compound. It was like three to 500 kids all living in this huge compound. Like they would feed us three times a day. And remember, we were coming from, you know what I mean? Drug infested areas. You know what I mean? Like only eating like once a day, if we were lucky, to going to a place where not only did we get fed three meals a day, but we had bunk beds. There was a bunch of kids to play with. They had literally playgrounds at this compound. Like it was freaking awesome. I'm gonna have part two ready for you guys next week. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. The artist's names are in the description down below, so make sure to go check them out if you guys want to see more of their artwork. Twisms.